Typically when I daydream about waffles, I think of a thick, fluffy waffle topped with whipped cream, but I decided to do a savory twist. I'm gonna be using my waffle maker to make hash brown waffles. We have about 20 ounces of frozen hash browns. The key to this, you really wanna keep them pretty frozen and cold if you can, because the more they come up to room temperature, they're gonna leak out moisture. And then I have about a cup and a half of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And to this, I'm gonna add three eggs that are lightly beaten. We are kind of making like a hash brown batter of sorts for our waffle iron. Eight ounces of diced ham. And make sure if you buy your ham already diced that you drain it really well. And I have about four tablespoons of butter melted. And then finally, some smoked paprika and salt and pepper to taste. And we are gonna stir this all together till it's nice and evenly combined. And using a big bowl is key for mixing this because smaller bowl, your stuff's gonna go everywhere. We wanna keep it nice and tidy. Perfect. So we have our waffle iron ready to go. This is on about medium high. You wanna make sure it's really nice and hot. And then I've sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. So we're gonna scoop it by about a one fourth cup into each little section of the iron. You hear that sizzle? That's what I want. And then from there, just take your spatula and kind of press it all together. And you may find that you, like, you have some pieces that are missing and just add a little bit more of your hash brown mixture there because those crispy edges are the best. So we're gonna put the top on our waffle iron. And key to this recipe, you need to make sure you have a fully functioning hot waffle iron. I know people have waffle irons, they don't use them a lot, so they'll bust them out of their pantry after a year or two, but if it's not hot enough, your waffles don't get crispy, they don't get thoroughly cooked. So it's actually worth double checking and making sure your waffle iron is getting to the right temperature. Okay, this is looking perfect. Use my spatula to flip this guy. Voila, look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. This recipe makes probably at least four waffles. I'm gonna respray my waffle iron and do the same thing again. I love putting creative spins on things like normal traditional foods you'd see. You get to put a fun spin on it, try something different. I love that we're making this in a waffle iron. That's the cool thing about this recipe. All right, beautiful. Ah. Gorge. Okay, so we have our hash browns all ready to go. I'm gonna show you how to plate this up. And if you wanna do some little extra fun touches for your kids or whoever you're feeding, I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's gonna look really special. So I'm just gonna cut this waffle into four pieces here. And then we're just gonna stack it really concisely on the plate here. That looks beautiful. Now I'm gonna add some chopped chives. And I love ketchup with my hash browns, so I'm gonna do a little ketchup drizzle on this. Kinda like the nod to like a syrup on a more traditional waffle. So, but I'm just gonna do a little light drizzle. <laughs> it was the ketchup, it wasn't me. I think people are gonna be really surprised and impressed that this looks like a waffle, but it's actually hash browns with cheese and ham. It's perfect for brunch and breakfast and it's gonna taste delicious. moment I've been waiting for. Oh man, <laughs> that's so good. I wanna see your beautiful hash brown waffles. Take a photo, tag at Pop Kitchen on Instagram, and comment below. I wanna know what you wanna see me make next. Mm -hmm.